Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the class of Construction Technology CE two hundred four. This paper appears in your fourth semester and it carries a credit of four. Myself, Chaitra S, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, as an IT adu. We have been discussing about the various topics from fifth module. We discussed about the frame structures, the form work. the types of joints stairs the vertical transport system elevator so we are moving on to the last topic of fifth module that is escalators and ramp by this topic we'll reach towards the end of this module so let's move on to the discussion regarding escalators and ramp by the end of the session you'll get answers for the following questions what is an escalator what are the design considerations of an escalator what is a ramp and what are the design considerations of ramp as we all know both this are means of vertical transport so while designing an escalator or a ramp we should understand what an escalator is what a ramp is followed by the design consideration like which code is offering the design consideration which is the reference which is the standard we need to understand all this as civil engineers before the design of such a vertical transport system so by the end of the session you will get answers for all these questions so listen to the session moving on to what is an escalator escalator as we have told earlier it is a means of vertical transport actually it is a moving staircase we know stair it is a moving staircase it requires a continuous operation without the need of any operators it is in the form of an inclined bridge the device consists of a motor driven chain of steps steel trussed framework and the handrails it is used for the movement of large number of people at controlled rate in minimum space it facilitates a large number of people to ascend or descend escalators can be seen in railway stations airports shopping malls you might have seen that you can see the picture of a an escalator along with the parts moving on to the design consideration as i already said before the design consideration we need to understand the reference So IS four five nine one nineteen sixty eight is the code of reference for the design of escalator. The design considerations are: the escalator should maintain a constant speed. The handling capacity of an escalator should range between three thousand two hundred to six thousand four hundred persons per hour. the angle of inclination should not exceed 30 degree that is it should not be too steep but there is an exception for rise greater than 6 meter speed not exceeding 0.5 meter per second the angle no, angle of inclination may be increased to 35 degrees moving on to the other design consideration first one is the width the width of the escalator decides the capacity of powered stair escalators should always be reversible in direction next one is related to the handrail each balustrade should be provided with handrail and there is a condition for handrail the speed and the direction of the handrail should be same as that of the step next is how this escalator sh shall be installed while installation is done the areas where the traffic is heaviest and the area which is most convenient for passengers should be noted down and it should be installed there 
next is the structural frame there should be a strong structural frame to support the whole setup as we already said there is a motor car and other uh, moving staircase and on the handrails it should be supported by the structural frame moving on to the type of escalators there are basically two types of escalator based upon the arrangement that are parallel the the two kinds of arrangement are parallel arrangement and criss cross arrangement in parallel arrangement the escalators faces the same direction parallel arrangement requires more floor space compared to the criss cross criss cross arrangement and in parallel arrangement the efficiency is less and it is a more expensive method whereas we can see the criss arrangement it is more compact it reduces the walking distance and it is less expensive and it requires only minimum floor space so this is the basic difference between parallel arrangement and criss cross arrangement so if types of escalators are, is is asked you can right based upon the arrangement it is classified into parallel and criss cross arrangement let's see the figures of parallel and criss cross arrangement this first one is the parallel arrangement you can see it faces the same direction it consumes more space and is of course more expensive and it requires more walking time now let's see the case of criss cross arrangement as you can see the space consumed is less compared to the first case and it uh, not necessarily facing the same direction it faces the opposite directions and it forms a more compact network it is less expensive and it occupies minimum floor area compared to that of uh, the parallel arrangement so criss cross arrangement is more preferred but you can see parallel arrangements also in various railway stations airports or shopping malls it is it depends upon the traffic condition and the convenience of the passengers moving on to the next vertical transport system that is the ramp ramp is actually a sloping surface it is a way of easy connection from floor to floor as you can see in the stairs you need to climb the steps similar may be the case with escalators but here it is a sloping surface it forms an easy connection from floor to floor it involves a large number of people or vehicles as you can see in the case of stairs or in the case of escalators it is difficult to carry the vehicles but this is made easy, easy with the help of ramps you can see ramps in stadiums hospitals railroads exhibition halls etc this is a, an example of a ramp it is actually a zigzag type you can see its direction is being changed it is a zigzag type of ramp okay moving on to <coughs> the design considerations for ramp as we already said this design considerations are having certain reference here the code of references is is 49631987 we can refer those codes to see the considerations the considerations are handrails should be provided or at least on one side if it is provided on two sides it is preferable the surface we, as we said it is a sloping surface it should not slip and the slope shall not exceed 1 is to 12 usually recommended slope is 1 is to 20 usually for ramps exterior location is preferred and the entrance the ramp should be provided adjacent to the entrance the length of the ramp should always be 9 meters there should be a landing for every direction change the minimum landing width is 1.5 meters and minimum height of handrail should be 0.8 meters these are the design moving on to your class assignment so we discussed what an escalator is what are the design consideration what are the types of escalators what are rambers what are the design considerations of a ramp so the class assignment is what are the components of escalators and explain the components with sketch so you need to identify an escalator uh, look into the parts of an escalator how it is operated and explain those components with the help of a neat sketch 
This will give you a better understanding regarding what an escalator is. It is a means of vertical transport of course we know but as engineers we need to identify the components, their function and you need to draw it with the help of a neat sketch. You need to explain it. That is your class assignment related to this topic. Moving on to the previous year university question, only one question was asked from this topic that is your class assignment topic, explain the components of an es escalator with neat sketch. So you cannot skip that topic, it is very important but you need to understand the rest also, the design considerations, the design consideration of ramp, it was not asked in the previous exams so there might be a probability that it might be asked this time. So, you cannot skip that topic, revise it, it was asked for 6 marks and the components need to be enumerated. Hope you are okay with this session. So, in the 5th module we dealt with many topics uh, like the framework, form work, joints, stairs, elevators, escalators, ramps etc. A total of 20 marks uh, you will get from this module. So, you will be having a test on coming Monday. So, be prepared with the topic. Thank you.